So here's the first principle when you're dealing with objections. People respond and act and behave with fixed and sometimes very rigid patterns of thinking, behaving, feeling, responding. When you break those patterns, people become very suggestible and very easily led. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I stood on that firm foundation of having that recognition. The second thing is notice what I didn't do. I didn't make it about me. I didn't think there's something wrong with me. I didn't think this is my fault. I simply observed that this has got nothing to do with me. And that's because of another belief I have, which is I seldom take a prospect's negative responses written in stone. It's almost always a reflection of what they're thinking, feeling, or believing in that moment. Mm -hmm. And it's almost always subject to change. So I had that, in addition to having that realization and model that people behave in fixed patterns, I have that belief that I don't take their first negative responses written in stone. That's number one. Number two, I didn't make it about her. I didn't think to myself, she's awful. She's, I didn't, in my mind, I won't use filthy language. Uh, I didn't <laughs> think she was the B word or any of that. I just saw her as a human being in pain. I thought she's in pain. And rather than feel hurt, she's channeling it into anger because mm -hmm. when we're angry, we at least have the illusion that we're at cause instead of at effect. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And number three, notice what I didn't do. I didn't stay in rapport with her. What would have happened had I stayed in rapport with her when she was angry? I would have had to match her anger. So rapport at the wrong time can destroy your sale. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Instead of, and I didn't feel tremendous amounts of empathy for her either. If I was empathizing with her, I would feel what she was feeling and I'd lose my emotional leadership. And sales is very much about emotional leadership. Instead, I had compassion for her, which means I saw where she was at without having to go there for myself. This is a core skill that champion salespeople need to have. If you're really good, you don't need it. But if you want to be a champion and crush your best day, here's the skill. The ability to see where your prospect's at without having to go there for yourself. So if you, all the things we're taught about, you have to stay in strong rapport and you must always empathize with your client. I say, wait a minute, that is true to some extent. But when, you come, when it comes to destroying objections, you need to break rapport. I know that sounds crazy. What break rapport? That's that's completely blasphemous. But in fact, as that story illustrates, it's true. Now you get rapport back very quickly. Here's another secret. When you break rapport and get it back, once you get it back, the rapport is even stronger. So rapport, break rapport, and then strong rapport. Again, this is kind of off the wall. But I'll illustrate with specific examples.